Hi, I'm Benny D, and in this video we're going to look at families of curves. Okay, so when we mean families of curves, what we're talking about is just generally speaking um, equations that have um, constants in there, okay, instead of um, actual known values. Okay, so we've got things like A, B, and C in there. Okay, and we're needing to use some form of differentiation and knowledge of uh, our derivative, stationary points, things like that, to find the values of A, B, and C. Okay, so they're called families of curves because as you change these values, A, B, and C, okay, uh, the equation is related, okay, but not exactly the same. And because they're related, we talk about them being families of curves. Okay, so I've got an example here that we'll have a look at. Okay, so um, a cubic function has a rule f of x equals ax squared plus bx, sorry, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx, and it has a stationary point at 1, 6. Okay, the first part of this is it asks us to find A and B in terms of C. Okay, so what we know okay, from this okay, is that it goes through the point 1, 6. Okay, so we're going to sub that in. So we're going to say, well, 6 equals A plus B plus C. Okay, when I sub 1 in here, each one of those is just going to be 1. Okay, so we're going to get A plus B plus C. Okay, but we also know that we have a stationary point there. Okay, so we need to look at taking the derivative. So we need to find F dash of X. Okay, so that's equal to 3AX squared plus 2BX plus C. Okay, and if it's a stationary point, okay, then we know the gradient is zero. Okay, so we say zero happens there. When we put in our x value of 1 because that's where the stationary point's occurring. So then when we do that, we're going to get 3a plus 2b plus c. Okay, now what we can do is solve those simultaneously. Okay, uh, there's any number of ways that we could do this. Okay, uh, let's look at now we need a and b in terms of c, so we can't rearrange for c because we're going to lose that out of the mix here. So let's rearrange, say, equation 1. This is equation 2. Let's rearrange equation 1 for, say, a. So we're going to say a equals 6 minus b uh, uh, minus c. Okay, so then in this equation, we're going to get 0 equals... Sorry, we're going to put this now. So I'm going to put this equation 1 that I've rearranged. We're going to sub it into 2. So we're going to say... We've got 3 times 6 take b take c plus 2b plus c. Okay, so we're going to get 0 equals, we have 18, okay, take 3b take 3c plus 2b plus c. Okay, so we're going to get 0 equals 18. We've got negative 3b plus uh, 2b is going to be negative b. We've got negative 3c plus c gives us negative 2c. Okay, add b across. Okay, we're going to get b equals okay, 18 take 2c. Okay, so we've got that one so far. Now we need to work out what our value of a is. So we can sub this value of b in to this equation uh, to work out what a is. So we're going to get a equals, sorry, a equals 6 take 18 take 2c. A take C, I'm going to get A equals 6 take 18 is negative 12. Okay, and then we've got take a negative, so that's positive 2C, take C gives us positive C. Okay, so we end up with our A value and our B values there. Okay, uh, the next part of this okay, is uh, then uh, they ask us find the value or C for which a graph has a stationary point at x equals uh, 2. Okay, so we want to now um, have a look at this and go, okay, well, I've got values for A and B now. So we're going to say f of x okay, equals, and we make this C take 12, looks a little bit nicer, C take 12 x squared, uh, sorry, x cubed, A plus B, which we know is 18 take 2C, x squared plus c x. So we've got everything in terms of c now. So what you're gonna do is find our derivative. So it's f dash of x okay, equals three times c take twelve x squared plus 
2 times 18 take 2c, 8 plus c. Okay, and we are told that we're going to have a stationary point um, at 2. Okay, so we're going to say this is 0 right, when x is 2. So we get 3 outside of c, take 12. 2 squared is 4. Okay, plus 2, at c over 18, take 2c. Uh, that should have an x on that. A times 2 plus c. Okay, so when we look at rearranging this, we've got 12 here. So we have 12c take 144. Okay, plus we're going to have, um, what are we going to have? We're going to have uh, 36 times 2 is 72. Okay, and we're going to have uh, take 8. Take 8c plus c. So get 0 equals um, 12, well, sorry, we're going to have positive 72 here. 72, we have 12c, take 8c is 4c, plus c equals 5c. Okay, so c is going to equal 72 on 5. Okay, so our general working through here is going to be that we are um, setting up our equations, okay, or being given equations with, uh, you know, unknowns a, b, and c in there. Okay, we're probably going to be given some information similar to this uh, where that we can use with our knowledge of derivatives to actually find those values of a, b, and c. So look, that's just one worked example. There's a couple more in the book that you can have a look at as well, but hopefully that'll get you a good start on these type of questions.